it's Liz. Thanks for coming back and watching. Uh, today I wanted to film an updated planner video. It's been, been very highly requested. So um, this is for the Planner Piece group on Facebook. I'll also post it on YouTube. I think that's where I'm going to initially post it. But um, I wanted to come on and show you all my planner setup that has been working for me for the past week or so. And I know that that may not sound like a whole long um, period of time for most of you, but for me it's pretty awesome because the past month I have purchased three different planners, downloaded inserts, printed my own, I've made my own, I've purchased like four different kinds. So it's really awesome that I finally have a system that I think works for me. I'm very comfortable with it and um, I wanted to come on and share. So this is actually um, something that Carrie had sent to me on the Facebook group and she sent it to me free of charge which was so nice and she even included some free things some free goodies so thanks again carrie if you're watching and um everyone in that group is just amazing and very supportive and i'm very lucky i found it so anyways <laughs> stop rambling get off my soapbox here the first thing that you'll see i have this cute little charm that i made from an old necklace you can't really see this part right here but um, there's a little heart, and then there's a flower right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. But as you can see, this binder is relatively thick. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest, how to measure the rings. I know that y'all were asking a lot about how big the rings were. And measuring from where the binder starts to the highest point is one inch. So I'm guessing it might be two inches. Um, I'm not sure if that's how you would measure it or if it's diameter or how that works. But... Let me know and if you guys want a more thorough measurement i will certainly do that but this is the planner that i am using it's genuine leather franklin covey it is a purse or i'm sorry a compact size which is equivalent to the personal size of a file of facts i'm not sure of the model i'm not sure of anything other than it's a franklin covey and it's leather so um there's what the top view looks like there's a nice little like a beige stripe goes that goes down the front in a vertical here. I really like this planner because it's a nice, simple, classic, neutral color. The one that I was using beforehand, um, the video that I had previously made, which if you guys haven't seen, go check it out and you can see how much this has changed. It was bright red. I loved it. It was the Franklin Covey 365 Compact in bright red and it was amazing. I loved it, but it was just really, really bright. And um, I have a pretty, you know, important job which I mean all of us have important jobs but mine is very um, professional I'm PR so um, to have something that's more neutral it just works for me it might not work for everybody to have a neutral color but I really like having this um, in my now ever-growing collection so I feel like I'm gonna get really good use out of this here is a view from the side it's really stuffed I have a Vic Fashion four color pen in here, the pastel one, and then the friction pen that I actually just purchased before I came home. I'm really liking it so far. I've used it quite a few times already. And then here's a view from the top. As you can see, it's very, very full. Um, you'll see a little bit of rust on the ring ends itself here, but this is really the only part of the rings that have any wear and tear. I was able to clean a lot off of them. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. So it's held together by a very strong magnetic clasp with the little Franklin Covey emblem here on it. I'm not sure if that's going to focus any better than it is right now. So when you open it, it's very strong too. I mean, I have a lot of stuff in here and you just, I mean, it sticks right back on when it gets to the magnet. I don't think I can put much more in here because it's pretty hard to close the way it is. But anywho, so opening it up, it's a very... um. There's not a lot of give to this. I'm not sure the correct way to describe it, but it's pretty stiff. Uh, the leather doesn't bend, which I do like. If it if it wasn't um, forgiving in this binder part right here, the um, the binding part, I don't think I would like it as much. But it's very easy to close, as you guys can see. And this part right here is very sturdy. Um, it yeah it's really nice i really like it a lot so um in the inside pocket here i keep my friction pen there's a small zipper pocket right here that is really hard to put things inside because it is so thin and the leather is so tough so i don't have anything in there at the moment i have a little plastic thing right here that i put some washi tape on i have three different um color paper clips here i have some post-it notes and tabs that people have given me and um just things that i use every day and here again is a view of how ginormous these rings are. 
I hope that you were able to tell just how large they are. They're amazing. They're so strong. I don't see any gaps in them. Do you guys hear anything? Those are my cats. They just got fed, so they're very rambunctious right now. So as you can see, I have this cute little key ring right here that I purchased at my local grocery store in Texas. If you guys live in Texas, I'm sure you know what grocery store I'm talking about. It's only in Texas. It's awesome. Um, but I hold... I just put this on here the other day and I it's been coming in really handy and it's so cute. It has um, four different color post-it note flags or like tabs up, up in the um, top here and then just a set of post-it notes on the back. I have a um, hard plastic, I guess flyleaf leaf or whatever you would call this that actually came with my original Franklin Covey 365 compact. And then I just have this pretty paper that I got. Um, it was cardstock from Tuesday morning. And on the inside here, I just have a cute little set of um, pink post-it notes, a sticker, some um, pieces of paper that I got in the Punctuate Planner. That's the actual um, weekly inserts that I use that you'll see in my calendar, but these came with it. I thought they were really cute. And I just housed some more post-it notes. These are the all-over sticky ones. Uh, some more pink ones. I have this here I got at Staples and I actually took all of these here off of what it had originally come on which was a very thick piece of black like plastic kind of like what what this is right here but thicker but it was actually too long for my um, my binder so I took it off and just put them all on this cute little um, pouch. I don't know why it's cute, but <laughs> it's cute now. Um, and inside the pouch, I just have some more tabs and some um, stamps and stuff like that. So I really, really like these. These are all see-through. So these are kind of like highlighter strips for me. And then these I use in my focus section, which you'll see, I believe that's next. And then here are some little arrow flags. And then I just have some extra ones here. Here I have, um, this is actually a business card slash credit card holder. And I put um, some page flags in here that do not stick very well. But I do like using them for decoration sometimes. And I'll put some double-sided tape down if I do want to use them um, for that purpose alone. And I got um, the ones on the inside here from Tuesday morning. And then the ones on the outside I purchased at oh, the Dollar Tree, actually. I purchased them at the Dollar Tree. So I hold those in there. Works are pretty nice. And you'll see kind of a trend in this planner. I have some of this really glittery um, gold paper. It's very thick, like cardboard. I have it in the back here too as well. I put this one here because there was a really big pen mark on this pocket. I'll show you what the back looks like. There was a really big mark on that pocket. So I put that there just to cover it up. And I actually kind of like it. Um, I love gold. It's my favorite color. So I like that there, so I kind of wanted to repeat that in the planner somewhere else other than just there, so I put it here. These are the double-sided um, little envelopes that you can pick up at Staples. I think they're the day timer or the day runner, I can't remember. But um, they have market dots, they have some things that Carrie had sent along with the planner. Again, she did this all um, free, which was so nice. You should see me when I got this in the mail. My husband was definitely making fun of me, but I was so excited. Um, it holds some market dots, some um, uh, hole punch reinforcers, and some pink uh, heart stickers, which I use a whole bunch. And I just hold some paper clips on the other side. These are really nice to put receipts in and things like that, too. And then um, I have some more paper clips. This is just another one of those envelopes. And this is a really cool program that we're doing at work here. It's from the Salvation Army. It's called the Forgotten Angel. And these are actually little... Um, these represent children that were not adopted in the year 2013, so we pick an age group and a sex of a child and purchase Christmas presents for them, so I'm doing that at work this year, and I'm really excited about it. I picked the um, the girl age 0 to 2, so that's what that is. I hold some receipts back there, and then on the other side, I have some coupons. And then um, I'm a huge Spurs fan. My husband and I used to have season tickets. So I have the Spurs schedule in here when they lose, when they win, and all of that. And then I'm um, getting into the first section of my planner. You'll see in my planner I actually have two separate sections of tabs. I have the top sections. Um, I have four different, I think one, yep, um, the focus section, the pass, my passwords, goals, and books. And then on the side you'll see that I have lists, notes, expenses, social media, work, um, calendar and then in the back I also hold my diary 
And then my calendar is also uh, divided into monthly and weekly. And then the punctured planners come with these cute little tabs. Um, so I kept those in there as well. They have events and numbers. So we will get into the first section, which is my focus section. So this is the same as my last video. If you guys haven't seen it again, uh, it's on my YouTube channel. But I got this off of a fellow YouTuber, YouTuber excuse me, that um, likes to do a section in her planner where she has a um a couple pages where she just writes down really inspiring quotes um motivational things there's just a lot of stuff where i can flip to this and look at it each morning and just kind of reassess what i'm doing for the day and you know why i'm doing what i'm doing and then um just some random notes to get me through this is a uh, 10 ways to improve your life i found online this is um, nine ways to have a better day at work. I suffer from anxiety, so this isn't because I'm a lazy person or I don't like my job, I love my job. But uh, just getting through the day kind of is rough for me, so I have those inspirational, motivational things. And then I just had this I am grateful for. I got this off of LimeTreeFruits.com. If you guys have not been to that site, it's amazing. She's an artist and she actually designs all of her own printouts. And on the back, I just have um, some more cute little paper with some washi tape and then a to-do list. And I actually made all these um, dividers or these, whatever they're called, inserts, dividers, whatever. Um, this one here is my lists. So going into my lists, um, I have grocery lists, again, from LimeTreeFruits.com. And on the inside here, I just have some to-do sticky notes, um, stuff like that. And just a more, some more grocery lists. I should probably use my right hand with this. Um, some more grocery lists. I do keep a lot of like, I have wish lists in here. I have things to try. I have a gift log. If anyone's watching, I don't want them to know <laughs> what I'm getting them for Christmas. So yeah, um, I just have, you know, things to do. We're going home for Christmas. Um, things to pack. We're going home for Christmas. Some dinner ideas that I have not finished writing yet because I ran out of time. And then my next section um, are the notes. So in my notes, I just have random things, addresses, things to remember that I know I'll never remember. Um, and then I have some things. Um, I printed out these in these little um, inserts that I used to put in my every monthly tab, but now I put them in my expenses. So I actually have all of the um, bills that we have per month, and I cross them out as they come. And I found these online as well. I found a lot of the stuff that's in here that's printed out. Off of Pinterest so if you guys want to look at those just literally type in like planner printables on Pinterest or um, just planner or file effects printables and I just um, put them to size and cut them in a whole bunch of them and put them in here so I have a couple pages of these we keep going to my password section I'm not going to show that for obvious reasons and these are my goals um, this is pertaining to work so and then my social media, I have a lot of notes about that, some racks that have come into me and things like that. Don't want to show all of that because it's got some personal stuff. And then just extra note paper, YouTube ideas, stuff like that. And we have the next section here is my work tab. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm a PR agent, so I work at a corporation. I'm in the corporate communications world, not the agency. So all of my fellow PRs out there. Um, I have a work tab that I like to put. This is just a cute little uh, thing that I printed out online. I had to cut half of it off, which kind of upset me because I wanted to make my pages the same length, which may sound silly, but a lot of my pages at one time were different lengths and they kind of spilled over here when I would close it and they would, um, you know, push the pen loop over and stuff. So I cut them down the other night and um, that's why a lot of these things are cut off. But I work in an office that is global, so I have listed here all of the different offices we have. I printed out a map just so I know with the different time zones and things like that. I have the different publications that we aimed for, which I've gotten on most of those I'm very excited about. And let's see here, how to make it through the workday with anxiety, like I said, that's what I suffer from. I have a list of words, which this is ridiculous. I'm almost 30 years old. I went to college. I've been in the industry for a long time, but this is a list of words that I have a hard time spelling to this day. I don't know why it is, so I decided to write them down. <laughs> so um, the next tab that we have is my calendar. 
And this is actually the newest part to my planner. It is the punctuated planner from Barnes and Noble. And this whole thing was only $10, which is amazing. I think it's a great deal. And just having the convenience of something already being made for you, you don't have to print it out, cut it down, hole punch it, anything like that. It's already designed really nice. It's just, I love it. I love it. It's amazing. I just wish the pages were a little bit longer or wider this way. They're four inches exactly, excuse me, four inches exactly. Um, and the Franklin Covey Compact is, I think, four and a half, or four and a quarter. So only qualm. Other than that, I love it. Uh, so here is the cover. And then I'm going to take this page right here and just slide past that because that's my personal information. Here I just printed out a year at a glance calendar. I put um, large market dots on the months that have already passed. And here's one for 2013 and then there's one for 2014. This little, little sticker page came with it. You can see I already used some of